Hi everybody, my name is Suol Pozel, and in this video I would like to highlight the various options we have in creating bar supports for additive manufacturing. Here I'm in Fusion 360's design workspace and I've created a very simple body. It is 10 millimeters in thickness and the dimensions can be seen here. The key dimension that I want to highlight is this 70 degree overhang I created on this uh, face. All right. Let's go to the manufacturing workspace and I've already created a additive manufacturing setup using the SLM solutions printer and this is a metal printer and I'll be assigning bar supports. I've already placed the parts a couple millimeters above the build plate so that I can have multiple zones that I can assign support structures. I'll turn off the visualization of the build plate uh, momentarily. So let's go ahead and choose bar supports, select the face we're interested in, and hit OK. When we do that, Fusion automatically creates this blue looking structure that is the bar support. And when we look at it from the side, you can see that it goes all the way down to the build plate to support that selected face. I could have selected the whole part if I wanted to, and then it would have automatically chosen this surface to assign a bar support as well. As you can see, there is a bouquet structure, a tree structure that Fusion created, and that is a part of the settings. And that's what we're going to highlight today. Let's go ahead and turn off the build plate itself and just look at the part and the support structures. I'll go ahead and edit this support. And the area that I'm interested in is in the general tab. So here you can see the tree structure is listed as small. I can make it medium, large, custom. In this case, I'm just going to say none to turn off the tree st style bar supports and create just regular bar supports without any of the branches. And this is what it looks like. If I look at it from the bottom, you can see the distribution of that. And all of those uh, items are controlled using this menu. So we will get back into the edit, and instead of using a sparse, let's go ahead and use a dense version. And when we hit OK, I will see more bar supports on that face. And once again, I'll stay in the bottom view. Here you see not only the bar support profile, but also something we call a, um, a pad. So these pads connect the bar supports to the build plate by adding extra area. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off just for visibility sake. So I'll turn off the pad on platform and hit OK. And all of these bars will just be that bars that go and touch the build plate. Now we can look at it from the bottom one more time to understand what we're looking at. So I have several um, bars around the edge of that surface and I have several bars in the uh, inner contour of that face. And the inner contour bars are following a um, hexagonal pattern. And the distance between these bars and the pattern that they are uh, and the size of the bars all are controlled in this edit dialog. And we'll go to the general and play with some of these settings to show you their impact. So instead of dense versus sparse versus medium, which are basically presets, We'll go to custom and talk a little bit about those options. So the first option, which is an easy one to understand, is the anchor alignment. And it's hexagonal and it controls the placement uh, and the pattern that these internal bars are. So we go and make that a rectangular and hit OK. And now we will see a more uniform looking distribution, uh, rectangular looking distribution of those bars. Another setting that we can show you quickly is the distance. So right now they are separated by two millimeters and if I wanted to make them for example one millimeter apart when clicking OK I will see um, bars every one millimeter. Another thing I can do is let's go back to two millimeters again. So that's the distance between the anchor points from which Fusion creates bar supports all the way down to the build plate. Uh, the next one is the um, <coughs> free contour offset. 
so this is the offset from the edge so right now um, whenever there's a free contour there is a roughly a 0.1 millimeter offset that fusion adds from the edge and um, if I increase this number from 0 0.1 to say 1 millimeter and hit OK um, we will no longer see um, support structures that touch the edge or looks like they're touching the edge rather we will see them uh, roughly one millimeter away from the edge uh, just to give a context this is a um, nearly a 10 by 10 uh, surface we're looking at so uh, the next one is let's go back and go to the same 0 0.1 and let's go to roughly one here so from this starting point, I want to show you the impact that the, um, the other one will have. So if I go to edit, the contour offset to wall uh, enforces the distance between a cluster contour and the wall. So here we can type in numbers, you know, it says 0 0.01 all the way to 1,000 millimeters. So here let's increase that number from 0 0.4, which is roughly this distance right here just to show you what it looks like to two millimeters so this will push these um, bars out into the center when I hit OK you will see that now I have a two millimeter gap between this wall and these bar supports uh, let's take a look at it again it's this distance is what we just modified the two, two millimeter all right uh, let's look at it from the bottom one more time Okay, so we talked about pretty much everything here. Uh, now we can start talking about the um, co uh, connection to bouquet structures. We've been saying no bouquets so far, so let's talk a look, take a look at you know what we can do with bouquets. Um, so if I said um, a small bouquet using the same set of settings and hit OK, it still creates those same anchor points. Those are the points that the supports start from. Uh, but what happens is instead of going all the way down to the build plate, those uh, anchor points from that surface get connected to a collection um, to a smaller subset of uh, bars. And in this case, it happens to be three. Uh, and that's what the small did. So if we go back and change it to large, for example, just to see the difference, it, instead of going to three different bars, it went down to a single bar. So this single bar is supposed to be supporting this entire face is, is what the, um, this setting did. Much like the, uh, the anchor density, which we can customize instead of saying sparse, medium, dense, we can customize the tree structure from, uh, instead of saying small, medium, and large, we can use a custom version. So let's use a custom version and take a look. So here, uh, by default, we get a 25 millimeter bouquet diameter. The height on the bouquet is 20 millimeters and the recursive depth is three. So let's hit OK just to see what this outcome is. And you know, the out that outcome is what we were looking at in the first place. So the best way to look at it is probably from the bottom again. Perfect. And uh, what we are going to play with are these numbers. So the diameter of a given bouquet being 20 uh, 25 is too big for this surface if you wanted to see multiples so let's go ahead and make that um, the diameter let's make it maybe four so if I have four I should at least get two um, bouquets um, uh, yeah when I hit OK uh, yeah we see one two three you know one two three um, this is roughly 10 by 10 like I said so that's what the four input of four gave me uh, the smaller that number is um, the more bouquets I will see. So if this was uh, six, for example, uh, instead of saying three, I will see maybe two. There we go. So I see one, two, one, two. Um, so that is the diameter of a given bouquet. Uh, the next one is the height of a given bouquet. So if we look at it from the side, the height of the bouquet structure is 20. If I made this 10, for example, I will see this uh, 
branching point move up when I hit OK, that's exactly what happens, right? So we have our branch is are starting only about 10 millimeters away from the, the surface. And then the last one is how many bouquets, recursive depth of a bouquet structure. So um, probably the best way to show this is by going down to a zero and hit OK. So what this does is um, maybe let's make it a 25. The radius, let's make the radius big again uh, with a zero recursive. So that will give us a single branch, okay? And the once the branch starts, the new bars that come from that branch do not branch off any further, is what this is doing. But if that input, recursive depth of bouquet structure, if instead of that being zero, if that was one, for example, I would get instead of zero branches after the first branch, I would get one more branch after the first branch. So this gives me my first branch point. And then as you can see, I have a second branch point over here. So each branch has one additional branch that it can it can uh, initiate. And of course, if I wanted to increase that number, I would get further and further branching. So I could make that two, for example, and I would get, instead of one branch from the original branch, I'd get one more branch up here. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And that's exactly what happens. From here, I have one, and I have roughly one more over here. Um, those are some of the basic settings that I wanted to highlight, and they are in the general tab. Uh, in a future video, I will show you the different bar properties. So please uh, make sure to tune in uh, to learn about the bar properties uh, for bar supports. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, you can reach us um, by uh, asking questions on the forums. Thanks.